Steve, bad luck today, a tight game. Thought we might get the draw, but didn't quite make it. Yeah, but um, how can I put it? I don't think we've done enough to get anything out of the game. Um, as I said to the boys afterwards, whether it's a derby or not, you have to exert yourself. You should be coming in that changing room, not being out of brief. And I thought we had, in terms of player for player, I thought we, we had the majority of their hold on their players in the second half at least. Um, balls we was asking to put in, they didn't. They, they end up playing, our, my players end up playing balls that we didn't ask them to do. Um, but they've got to make that decision on the pitch. And where we thought we could hurt them was down the sides, and especially after the bookings they got. Um, we were reluctant to play them balls and ultimately that's what that's what's cost us from getting more chances, um, clear cut chances. I think apart from Adam Coombs it should score in the second half and he knows that. Um, apart from that one and uh, Jake Embry's deflected one, we have them puffed, we had a few set pieces but it wasn't a game that you thought was going to go away from any team. You know, I don't think Johnny's touched the ball apart from kicking it two or three times in the second half. So when they got their goal they seemed happy to, to sit in there and, and let us break them down. And unfortunately, apart from the first 10 minutes maybe where we had a couple of chances, um, we didn't. And, and that, that, that's down to us as staff to work, work on that. It's down to the players to listen to instructions and uh, identify where you can hurt teams. Um, but all in all, it's disappointing. Uh, big crowd here today. Um, and if they was on the other foot, they'd probably say the same. We've got beat. So regardless whether you had the majority share of possession and to be fair, the management team said afterwards, can't believe we're down where we are and stuff like that, but we hear that all the time. Mm. And until mm. we start climbing the table, people can say that. I'm not saying they're being flippant about it, they're being honest, they're genuine people. Mm. Um, but what we've got to do is <laughs> we've got to then start turning these in, in, into wins. Um, it's no good just getting draws. You know, We've got to get wins, stop the defeats, forget about draws and start going for wins. And, I thought we'd done that. I thought we was getting opened up a little bit at the end of the first half with the system we was playing, so credit to them. But then when we matched into them, we was on the front foot and that proved it in the second half. So um, we had three forward players playing in the first half, in the second half. Um, so it weren't as if we sat back and didn't go for it. Uh, we ended up going four people up front with Parkey or with Sonny, with the other three um in the last five but it weren't a b uh, and i'm disappointed bitterly disappointed that we that we didn't get nothing out of that today the first half i thought was quite flat really wasn't it at times it just wasn't apart from that sort of four minute period when a couple of really heavy tackles went in uh it, it was much of much of the first half was flat second half i thought we were a lot lot better and took the game to them much more i felt that the Probably the anticipation of, of, of a big derby, you know, the, the crowd were, were trying to G both sides up um, and then when things weren't happening it went very quiet, you could hear a pin drop with 1,600 people and that shouldn't happen. Um, but they need something to cheer about and like you say, first half was as flat as anything, they had the goal. Um, was it a foul, weren't it a foul, I don't know because the rest made a decision he hasn't given it. So we've then got to defend better from that. He's put it right in the top corner, um, so Johnny I think he's got a chance with it. And then after that, they flashed a cut across the face of the goal. Um, but it was a flat first half. And we had to try and rally them. Shouldn't have to rally players in a derby, gym. Mm -hmm. But regardless of a derby, any game, you know, players should be doing it. And like I said at the start of the interview, you've got to come off that pitch absolutely breathing out your backside where you can't think of nothing else apart from getting that shower and recovering mm -hmm. because you've worked so hard. And I thought that we'd done well second half, but we didn't do enough. And, and in game, any game of football, you've got to do more than just enough. And as a result of that, your considered opinion of the players' performance, will you be able to lift them? Will you lift them? Have they got to be lifted for the game next Sunday? No, they shouldn't have to be lifted because it's a, it's a defeat. It's a defeat to your local rivals, but it could have been a defeat to somebody else. You've got to pick yourselves up and go again for the next game. You know, Unfortunately, it would have been ideal if we would played Eastbourne on Tuesday because there's no better time than getting back on the bike straight away after falling off. Um, it's not to be, so we've got to train Tuesday, train Thursday, prepare for Maidstone away next um, Sunday. Sunday, which again is going to be another huge game, but not necessarily in terms of stature of the fixture for the clubs. I've got to look at a huge game for us to get points, mm. and that's what we've got to do. Mm. You know, is there, they'll probably have some players back. Is there anything there that fears us? Not really. I think what we cope with them, it's 
mm. saying where they are in the league to where we are, I think we cope with them. And they'll say the same about us. Was there anything to worry about? Probably not. But the thing is, they've come up with three points. We haven't. And we've got to just dust ourselves down and really go for it next week. And that's what we will do, you know. When we've been in these situations before, Jim, um, I've basically just gone for broke. And that's what we've got to start doing because, like I say, points ain't no good to us. We've got to start winning three points. Mm. And the more three points we get, the better. And the boys that have got to break the duck, have a back, they've got to get back to back wins. That's something they haven't done this season. And it's something that they're crying out for. But they are the owners can do it. You know, we'll, we'll set up the system, we'll change it in-game, but they've got to go out and do it. And they've got to believe. It's all this word belief in that, but they've got to do it. They've got to go and get the three points. They've got to go and get the three points the following week, then the next week, and they've just got to keep going on a run. And It's doable. It is doable. Um, but we'll wait and see. From your comments, I guess you were frustrated. Nothing you can do about it, but the East Bourne game got postponed. Yes, yes, but obviously... Players' health comes first and foremost. Mm, of course. You know, we, we test every morning of training, every morning of games. Melvin um, records it in case of league or anything like that. Mm. So, yeah, it's frustrating. But obviously they've got a few people which we wish them all the best and, and their Christmas has been ruined by it. Mm. Um, so we wish them well. We wish them to get better soon. Um, and we play them on another day. Sure. Well, bad luck today, Steve. Thanks for your time as ever. Cheers, Jim. Thank you. Thanks,